mixing water at two different temperatures. When hot water and cold water are mixed, the hot water becomes colder and the cold water becomes hotter. In other words, the hot water will lose heat energy and the cold water will absorb heat energy. These processes are known as exothermic, which is the release of heat energy, and endothermic, which is the gain of heat energy. A measure of the loss or gain of heat energy is reflected in the temperature of the water. If the temperature increases, heat is absorbed. If the temperature decreases, heat is released. Keep in mind that both water samples will wind up at the same temperature. We refer to this new temperature as X. Also make sure you understand that the X we're using is not the delta T, but the final temperature. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy, the energy of motion of the particles in a substance. The heat that moves from or to a substance depends on the mass of the substance, the specific heat capacity of the substance, and the change in temperature of the substance. The movement of thermal energy from a substance is called heat. Heat is represented by the letter Q, where Q is also known as the enthalpy, which as we said before, is also equal to the heat where the Q can be calculated by the following process, where Q is equal to MC delta T. When a mixture reaches the same temperature, the temperatures are said to be in equilibrium, or Q1 is equal to Q2. Solving for Q, we get the following. M1 C delta T is equal to M2 C delta T. And simplifying for delta T, we get the following. M1 C T sub F minus T sub I is equal to M2 C, T sub F minus T sub I. T sub F will always be the value of the warmer temperature, which is written first. T sub I will be the colder temperature. Now for some practice problems. Determine the final temperature when 45 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius mixes with 22.3 grams of water at 85 degrees Celsius. To solve this problem, we, we use the following numerical setup where we write 22.3 grams 
times 4.18, which is a specific heat capacity of water. And then multiply that times 85.0 degrees C minus X. This is equal to 45 grams times the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4.18. And then we multiply that times X minus 20, which is the lower temperature. Solving, we get the following, where 93.2 times 85.0 minus X is equal to 188.1 times X minus 20. And 7,922 minus 93.2 X is equal to 188.1 X minus 3,762. This equals 11,684, which equals 281.3x. Now we divide through by 281.3, and x will equal 39.9 degrees Celsius. Question two, determine the final temperature when 30 grams of water at eight degrees Celsius mixes with 60 grams of water at 28.2 degrees Celsius. As before, we write the following numerical setup, where this time we write 60 grams times 4.18 times 28.2 minus X. Notice that these are the variables for the warmer water. This is equal to 30 grams times 4.18 times X minus eight degrees Celsius. Solving, we get the following. 250.8 times 28.2 minus X is equal to 125.4 times X minus eight degrees Celsius. And 7,072.6 minus 250.8x is equal to 125.4x minus 1,003.2. This simplifies to the following. 8,075.8 is equal to 376.2x. Now we divide through by 376.2. And x will equal 21.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this concludes my explanation of mixing water at two different temperatures. Hopefully this video has been helpful.